Hey, what's up, Pulse team? Man, it was so great being back in youth group and Pulse had a great run this past Wednesday. It was so amazing seeing a lot of your faces, um, be able to fist pump you guys, and just to talk with you and just to worship God together. It was so beautiful. And, and again, for those of you that couldn't make it, we totally understand, we really do. Um, but I'm looking forward to more of these. I'm looking forward to what God's gonna continue to do in our lives because I know that God has spoken to so many of us during these last uh, almost three months of staying at home. Um, but yeah, it was beautiful, so beautiful, and I'm looking forward to, to doing more things and serving with you guys more. But today we're gonna be talking about whose voice are you listening to? And uh, I believe you've all heard sermons or talks about voices. What voices are you listening to? You know, we're either listening to the, the voice of God or the voice of the world, and those are in it. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. But this reminds me to that game Marco Polo. And if you're ever in a water or a pool, doesn't matter what kind of pool, you've played this game before. The problem with Marco Polo is you always have that one person who's playing the game and they just want to just torment you. What I mean is you always have that one person out of everyone playing that is saying Marco and you're saying Polo or you're saying Marco and they're saying Polo and they're trying to get you to lead you to destruction. And what I mean is they're trying to get you to dive and jump for them. And as you jump for them, they move and next thing you know, you run into the to the wall, the built-in pool head first. That's happened to me before. Actually, it happened in my head. Um, yeah. That's a whole other thing. But yeah, that was jacked up. But of course, I learned not to trust that person's voice anymore. But again, whose voice are we following? Now, I'm gonna read a quick, simple um, of scripture out of the book of John, chapter 10, verse 27. But even though it's simple, there's a lot of depth to this. And here we go, this is Jesus. And Jesus said, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. Do we know Jesus? Are we following his voice? Are we actually following him? Do we know him enough to trust him? Are we following his voice or are we following someone else's voice thinking it's God himself, okay? So if you've ever been around sheep, you know they're not the brightest things, brightest animals in the world. They're not the brightest, they're not the smartest, okay? All they do is eat grass, eat grain, they graze, um, drink a lot of water, go to the bathroom, and do it over again, over and over and over again. Now, throughout the New Testament, Jesus Christ always calls his followers sheep. And he's not saying that to degrade us. Why? Because there's something special about sheep. Even though they're not the brightest, there's an honorable quality that they have. And that honorable quality is that they're very good listeners. They're very good listeners. They follow the voice they listen to. And they will be led by that voice, which is their shepherd. And Christ is our shepherd, okay? And we are his sheep. And if you look at the word um, pastor, it's, it's, that's, if you look at shepherd in Spanish, that means pastor. Now, you, you've probably had like, the pastor tacos, very good tacos, but that's for the Food Network, not for devotion. But if you've ever haven't tried them, try them. They're really good. But again, pastor is shepherd in Spanish, but we take that term and use it in English. So Christ is our shepherd, and we are a sheep. Now the world says this: listen to your own instincts. God says, listen to the still small voice of my spirit within you. So we have we can either go with door A or door B. Door is the world or door B is God. I'll tell you right now, God's the best door to go with. Now, Jesus Christ is constantly watching over us. He constantly has our back. That's another reason we should trust him. He constantly has our back even to the point where he knows what his plans are for us. He knows what paths to avoid taking us on because he knows what's planned for us. He knows what's best for us and he has a desire for us to take his path. He knows all of history. He knows your history, my history. He knows all things because that's our God. He knows and understands your DNA. He knows and understands your personality completely. Why? Because he created you. We're created in the image of God. So that's why he's so trustworthy. And this is why it's so important to hear and listen to the voice of God versus others. And I know that at your age, you're being pulled back and forth in so many different directions. You're hearing this voice, that voice. You have the voice of, of movies, music, TV, Hollywood, media, even social media, your friends, your parents. The list goes on. I remember when I was in high school, I was being stretched back and forth with so many voices. Do drugs, you know, get high, drink, steal, commit crime, have sex, all these things. It's sad to say, I was searching for a voice and I followed the wrong voices and that's why my life was pretty messed up growing up. But thank God he delivered me and saved me. So I understand that many of you are being pulled back and forth. But man, but are you being pulled by the voice of God? Is he the one that's leading you? Is he the one that's calling you and you're following him? It's so important. Now, a shepherd always walks ahead of his sheep. 
he walks ahead to look at the past so he knows what path to take then that's safer. You know, if he sees that there's wolves or bears in a certain path, he's not gonna take them that way. He's not because he knows what's best for them. He knows how to lead them and God does the same thing for us. You know, a shepherd talks to sheep. He knows when to feed them when they're hungry. He knows where to take them when they're thirsty. He even protects them. That's why shepherds walk with these staffs, these sticks. It just wasn't a walking stick. It was to fight off predators to protect their sheep. And that's what God does for you and for me because he loves us and he is our good shepherd. Now, is the voice you're following the voice of our good shepherd? I really hope and pray it is. I hope that you're listening to the voice of truth, the voice of, of, of freedom the voice of mercy and grace, the voice that has a future, a future plan for you. I hope and pray that you're listening to the voice of God and no one else's voices, especially during the times we're living in today because we're being told so many different things. You know what I'm talking about. It's important to follow the voice of God and the voice of God, my friends, will always align with his word. Love you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Again, Wednesday night, I got teary-eyed because it's such a beautiful thing and I'm looking forward to serving with you guys more and talking with you guys more fist pumping you guys more and worshiping Jesus more, right? Love you guys. Y'all have a great weekend. God bless. Bye.